looking at his videos and stuff, like, like he was so freaking athletic. Like, he would have been able to play in any area, like jump over anybody. Oh, I don't know, but maybe I can if I get lucky. <laughs> you had to do that to me. You had to show me up. What are you up to these days? I'm president of the IVA, which is a professional volleyball league. Well, for me... I don't know that nigga talk like that. What the fuck? I'm pre professional of the Ivy League. President of the IVA, which is a professional volleyball league. Well, Damn. oh my god. For me, what comes to mind is just how physically dominating. A seven foot one nigga in a in a in a professional volleyball league is crazy, and he ran a four four five forty, and he benched five hundred pounds. I know what is the greatest player of all time. I'm just letting you know that. If you didn't know that, now you know that. You got something to say about well, I'm really, I'm really up in the toolie on your shit, man. It's a small ass person, man. Fuck that person, man. I'm really up in the toolie on you, boy. What are you, what are you talking about, nigga? I'm up in that shit, bro. I'm up in that shit. I'm letting you know that. What was I mean? His size and strength and athletic ability. He's really a cheat code, a creative player. He, uh, uh, he had a great variety of of really incredible uh, strong points to to his athletic skill. Ah. Ah. Over. Over rebound. Keeping in mind, Chris, Gus Johnson at 6'7", 235 That's not fair. Nigga tried to do a, a, a flight reaction on that hook and then he got his shit swatted. That's crazy. Pressure critical needs. The team's going to win that high in the air. SMU on defense again. That's a pass in the basket. The team's going to shoot good. See, I uh, ruptured my patella tendon about three and a half years ago, and uh, luckily for me, I was living in Southern California where the beaches are really quite conducive, you know, to playing beach volleyball and strengthening your legs, and especially for a knee operation. So I became interested, you know, while doing that, and since then I've been touring uh, with a team of my own called the Big Dippers uh, for the last two, about the last two and a half years. This, no, this nigga had his own dance team, bro. Bro was out here living life to the fullest. That's crazy. Did things that you wouldn't expect a big person like that to do. Will loved to dance. He could dance. He was a magnificent athlete in today's standards. Magnificent. If people don't realize that, you know, he can, when he went to the University of Kansas, he competed in the shot foot and the high jump and the quarter mile. Damn that nigga running, uh, bro. Imagine you see a seven foot six nigga running at you like that, bro. He square up. I gotta run away from you. I'm sorry. In addition to playing on, on the basketball team, he, he was really a superlative athlete. Chamberlain knocks it away. A beautiful defensive play by Wilt. That's as fast as I've seen Wilt run in a long time. He has good uh, straight ahead speed. Excellent, in fact. He was like a giraffe. You know, a giraffe has a lot of speed. It just doesn't look like it's moving. And Wilt was that way. Had a lot of speed. You could see the power. He was strong. Could hold the position. Couldn't push him around. My gosh, he was a great track man. He could high jump. He could broad jump. He'd throw the shot. He'd run the quarter mile like a deer. And the same way with his stamina. Great stamina and strength. Shaquille didn't have... No, nah, no, nah, that didn't count. I know my track shit, that didn't count, he, he overjumped it. Quite the same athleticism that Will had. If he didn't have the endurance, that obviously by the 48 minutes a night that we talked about. Will was a very special guy. I mean, he was the greatest athlete I think that's ever lived. That nigga had no form with that shit, I'm not gonna hold you. One of the most, the strongest man that's ever played this game. Will was probably the most powerful, strongest athlete that I've ever met. Now you've slimmed down. I right, mean, what right. was your playing weight? About no. 275, 280? No, no, no. My, no, my playing weight is around 300, 310. Will could do whatever he wanted to on the basketball court. Like when Will Chamberlain started a discussion about being able to touch a certain mark on the backboard. Strong, palmed. A bowling ball, a 16-pound bowling ball. Then put his fingers in the sockets and the holes, palmed it like that, held it out. Nigga bowls like this, bro. That's weird. And 
Both sort of toying with uh, the opposition and getting the ball over to Joe Caldwell. Chamberlain giving him plenty of room. Feeds Allen. Chamberlain knocks it away and Allen is really hit hard. I actually saw this and I think to this day people don't believe it. But he, he, he wasn't at the top of the circle, but he was about three steps behind it on a free throw, and he ran to the free throw line, took off, and dunked the ball. Will Chamberlain is, was an extraordinary athlete. Okay, I already you heard him reference at the Olympics this year being the greatest beach volleyball player of a certain era. What is something that I beat in any sport that uh, Will's accomplished that many people might not know about? Polo! Water polo. <laughs> harness racing. I want to ski at over 100 miles an hour. When I ride my cars, I go as much as 180 miles an hour. And uh, most people dream of doing those things, but never have enough nerve to try them. The Kansas City Chiefs drafted him for tight end. I know you did a what, a four point. What? Point four and a 40 yard dash. Yeah, that's you were right. a sprinter. Yeah. Even six. boxing. We came with a concept of Will Chamberlain fighting Muhammad Ali, and I was going to manage Will. You know what happened though? No. <laughs> Herbert saw Will and got afraid and thought it might be an upset because Will was so big. You know, Ollie was 6'2 and Will was about 7'2. Yeah. And so uh, Herbert backed out. And he was a manager of Muhammad. He challenged me about two years ago before they took my title back in the 67. We were on Howard Cosell show and I thought he was joking. But I found out he's a good fighter. I would say he's more skillful at boxing than Joe Frazier is. He's strong. Milton Gross was telling me about where he held up the back of his big car while somebody changed the tires. He's got a strong leg, strong midsection. and I see him running up and down basketball courts all night, which is a hard job. I've tried a couple of times, and it's rough basketball. My thing I like was to challenge guys who were small. This nigga was drafted into soccer? Well, guys were supposed to be quicker. It wasn't just my height that was getting me across in these various sports. It was some other intrinsic things that I had that made me a good athlete. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, who's ever he, played he, in the Absolutely, I mean, yeah. he lifted me up like he one arm like nothing. So powerful. He I came to the gym well, and he would do a tricep extension. The big guys, the strongest guys, would do, let's say, 120 pounds. He would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds. That's how strong he was. Did you retire right after basketball, basically? You didn't no, I went, right, I went right into volleyball. I played professional volleyball actually longer than I played basketball. Will Chamberlain's playing with four of my freshmen against Magic, Bernard King, James Worthy, Byron Scott, and Green. And it's game point. Magic throws a sky hook. Will blocks it. Magic calls game. And Wilt says, that wasn't goaltending, that was a clean block. And Wilt <laughs> said, hey coach, was that goaltending? I said, no, that was a clean block. And Wilt says, all right, look, we're gonna play a game till 12, winner stays and there'll be no more shots made at this basket. He blocked every everything. shot, 43 <laughs> years old. He was blocking everything, it was, it was unbelievable. Far dribbling, Chamberlain knocks it away again for the seventh time, a collision. No. What happened to Wilt? Nigga was 54 getting off. Bro, he should have came back to. Ooh. And Chamberlain is down. Look at all those teams. That's like 18. Hit in the midsection, and that's putting it high. Third playoff game. Who is that? Y'all favorite center of all time? Kareem? Blocking him. Chamberlain, six block shot. Kareem blocking him. Kareem blocking him. He blocked the shot, but Lou keeps it back. That's the third. Kareem, bro, Will is ten times better than Kareem. I can't, I can't explain it, bro. Third block for uh, Chamberlain tonight. Oh, oh, Will Chamberlain went higher than I've ever seen him go. The big captain's bad. Puts it up, Chamberlain blocks it. Puts it up, Chamberlain blocks it. The way that Will turned on individually at the start of the fourth quarter actually said to everybody, we're going to win. And Will Chamberlain is playing just about the best basketball I've ever seen any man play in my life. Going through the middle, nobody goes. Will takes it in himself. Puts it in there. Unbelievable shot, Keith. If he gets that close to the basket, I don't see how anyone can stop him. Will with six. He may try a fallaway bank. Yep, here it comes from 14 feet. It's yeah, good. His hand is for Will as he leaves the game, and they're giving him a standing ovation in many sections of the arena. Long 
pass to Adams. He's going to challenge Wilt. He does. Wilt fly swats it right down his throat. Comes way out in the court. It's grabbed by Halliburton. Goes to the baseline. Stop. 15 foot over the rookie. He'll be short. Taken by Wilt. Wilt playing another tremendous game. Wrap around. Bounce pass at 40 feet. Comes out to Robinson. Robinson's underhand pass over to Riley. The Globetrotters are here, and Riley hits the jumper. Not many people know or have spoken about Wilt's time in a professional basketball league as a kid. I want to give a huge shout out to Reddit user u slash Dan the Man 9758 for his incredible research on the topic. Wilt would not only block your shot, Wilt could go up in the air and catch your shot, which was like, ooh. Probably the greatest play I have ever seen in my life that uh, Will Chamberlain was involved with, with Gus Johnson. Wilt was standing there. Gus goes up to dunk it. Will catches the ball, throws Gus to the floor, still holding the ball. They carry Gus off the court with a dislocated shoulder from bouncing off the floor. I don't see how anyone in the NBA will ever be as strong as he was. I saw Will Chamberlain once go to half court and make 20 out of 25 free throws from half court. No, Will had a great shot outside. He used to win games at horse. I'm going to tell you something. As bad as it looks, it didn't miss by that much. You just seen me make two in a row. Look at that nigga face, bro. Not by that much. You just seen me make two in a row. You know, I had to sap what fast. There you go. I just paid the last three of them. This is the one I'm talking about for five dollars. Get it up. Get it up. Everybody was captivated by this giant. What do you This giant. Wilt? Obi got Wilt? Obi got Wilt? You got you're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> Status. I'm telling you. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. We out. Peace. What is the greatest player of all time? I would not say it. I would not say it anymore. Peace out. Better than Mike. Better than Kobe. Peace out. Better than LeBron. Peace out.